right, well hey everybody, it's Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. What we're gonna be talking about today is this little RTA right here. This is the Manta RTA from Advokin. I've really been enjoying it. I think it's a banging little flavor RTA. And in order to get to know it, you know, just a little bit better, what we're gonna do is go up close, as we often do, quick short upy closey time. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, yeehaw. Well, all these parts down here kind of represent the Manta RTA. You get two glasses included with it. One's like the, you know, the bulbousy fishbowl type of glass, and then the other one's just a straight up and down glass. I've been using this bulbousy one because, I don't know, I think it looks kind of cool. It's a nice change of pace sometimes to have your tank look a little bit different. But today, when we put this together, I think I'm just going to use the straight, you know, vertical up and down glass tank. So the Manta kind of has this, you know, I don't know, velocity-ish looking deck. It's basically a velocity style deck, but the top two post holes are like moved in a little bit. I don't know. I don't see any real benefit to that. I didn't notice any real benefit to that when building. I think for all intents and purposes, this is basically just a velocity style deck. Some notches right there in the base. The center one is your airflow, and these two over here are for your wicks. And then of course you have airflow on the bottom. Three holes on each side that are a adjustable and this uh, AFC adjustment is a very very firm adjustment it's a uh it's truly and honestly actually a little bit difficult to adjust. These O-rings just hang on for dear life. I cannot get this closed at all. Oh, finally. Wow, that was a lot of effort. And then you grab this and twist it. This is, I'm telling you, this is taking a lot of effort right now. But you can open it up one hole, two hole, three holes. It's no big deal. It's whatever. You can kind of rock it however you want. I've just been rocking it like I always do, full open on the bottom. The airflow is fairly smooth and fairly swooshy. 510 pin on the bottom, yeah, that's protruding a little bit. I don't know. I've never felt the desire to rock an RTA on a hybrid mech mod, but I guess if you really, really wanted to, that's protruding enough. It's static, and it's surrounded by a peak insulator, so if you know what you're doing, yeah, you could rock this on a hybrid. Although, eh, I don't really see the point. Taking a look at the rest of it, obviously your glass goes on your chimney like this. This is what screws around your deck, and then you have these two big kidney-shaped juice fills holes right there and it's a top fill system like 100% of the RTAs coming out this year. Threads on the top very nice just screws down just like that and it's very easy to just grab it. It's a little bit gnarly around the top so you can just unscrew it like this fill it up, screw it back down. It's fairly easy to find the threads and the threads themselves are fairly smooth. And yeah, that Ultim drip tip right there it does come with an Ultim drip tip, which uh, I actually think this Ultim drip tip kind of fits this tank pretty well. It's a nice low profile size. I'm not a huge fan of Ultim. I don't like using it. I don't like looking at it, but I will say that the Manta one, yeah, it's, it's, it's the best Ultim drip tip that I think I've come across, at least the most aesthetic pleasing to me. Thankfully it is goon compatible so other much cooler drip tips like these dock tips yeah they fit in there they fit in there and they look cool. Unfortunately my favorite supreme ultimate goon drip tips the nub tip from DHD yeah it doesn't it fits in there but you can see all the way around there's just a little bit of a gap. Yeah when you really get in here you can see a gap all the way around it's not necessarily a deal breaker I'm still gonna rock it with this drip tip today because it's going on a blue mod and if you have the chance to be matchy matchy, you gotta take it. So yeah, that's just the build I have on there for now. I'm just gonna give it a quick wick, juice, and fill, and then we're gonna get back out to normal view. We're gonna vape this tank.
So yeah, cool, fairly easy to wick. You just kind of pop the wicks into those little holes. It's really straightforward. You just want to see, you know, a little bit of wick kind of showing through the bottom in each one of the holes. And you know, it's going to be wicking pretty well. These are two and a half millimeter coils, which I find in RTAs is kind of a really good balance between, you know, the diameter of the coil and the amount of wick you need to use when you pull it through. You want it to be snug, but not too snug. And then when you pop it down in there, you know, you're going to get some uh, pretty good wicking action. So we got this all set up and filled. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape this thing. So yeah, that's the Manta RTA up close and personal, man. I have really been enjoying this RTA. Like I said, I was using it with the bulbousy glass for a while just because, you know, you kind of want your RTA to look a little bit different sometimes. But this time I decided to go with the straight glass. It just looks very cool, very clean. And I actually like the branding on this. It's kind of the shadow outline of a manta ray. And I just think that looks really cool. And plus, I think it's really cool using my Manta RTA on top of my Squid Industries mod. Whoa, we got a whole aquatic thing going here, and it's blue, and a blue drip tip. That's it. I just killed the game. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said I just killed the game. Remind me to never say that again. And completely off topic, but you might notice my little lapel mic. I hope the audio sounds better this time around. A little bit less echoey. Anyway, like I said, really, really enjoying this Manta RTA. I like the airflow. I don't like adjusting the airflow because it's honestly kind of a pain in the ass. Even when it's on your mod, it is stiff. My airflow is stiff. This ring has a lot of resistance to the point where if I look at it and I go, I kind of like to close that down a little bit, I think about how difficult it is and I go, ah, it's fine, full open. Yours might be different. Your mileage may vary. Yours might spin much, much easier, but I'm telling you, mine right out of the box was really difficult to spin and remains very difficult to adjust. I can only review what I have in front of me. They sent me one and it's difficult to adjust the airflow, so there you go. Otherwise, the fit and finish of this RDA, very, very nice. All the threads are very smooth. It looks really cool. The deck is basically a velocity style deck. It's easy to build. It's easy to wick. You just pop your wicks down into the little chambers. You fill it up. You wet it down. You're good to go. It does come with an Ultim drip tip, but as Ultim drip tips go, it's not that super offensive to me. I'm not a huge fan of that color Ultim. It just looks really like medical and gross to me, and I just don't like looking at it. So of course, first chance I have, I'm going to put whatever else drip tips I have on here. It is goon compatible. And like I said, the DHD ones, there's a little bit of a gap there, but honestly, I don't know. I don't really notice it when I'm just using it and handling it and vaping it. It is a damn fine vape. I just have a simple fuse Clapton in here and the flavor that I'm getting, quite, quite delicious. This is loaded up with Bonsai Vapors Pink Paradise, which is their pink lemonade. And don't worry, I'll put links down in the description to everything I talk about in this video. That needs more wattage. One of the things to me that makes a good RTA is if there's no danger of leaking. I found that two and a half millimeter coils and you pull that cotton through fairly snug and you tuck it down, it wicks like a champion and it doesn't leak. I always try 2.5 millimeter coils in all of my RTAs and most of the time, first try, I get it in there and it's wicking and it's not leaking and I think, wow, maybe I just got lucky. So I'll tear it down, I'll wick it again and if it happens a couple times in a row, like I can do it consistently without leaking and it's easy to do, then I consider that a huge positive and that's what happened with the Manta RTA. I built it and wicked it, I vaped through some tanks, I thought, wow, that was really great. Maybe I just got lucky because I've had no leaking, no gurgling, nothing but delicious warm vapor into my mouth hole. So two or three times Times later, after wicking it and vaping it and re-wicking it and vaping it and re-wicking and vaping it, I can wick this consistently and it doesn't leak, it doesn't flood, it doesn't gurgle, it doesn't do anything but provide me a really stellar vape experience.
So the Manta RTA isn't revolutionary, it's not game changing, it's not trying to reinvent the wheel, it's just a really good solid RTA. It happens to come with the straight glass and with the bubble glass, 24 millimeters, three mil capacity, just good banger of an RTA. And honestly, other than my difficult to adjust airflow, there's no real gripes about this RTA. Like I said, it's just good and reliable. It's easy to build, it's easy to wick, it's easy to take apart, all the threads are nice, and it gives me a good vape. I really like using using it and I really like the price. 39 bucks over on Vapor DNA. No real vape budget hands needed. If your RTA just broke or you're just really itchy to buy a new tank, I would take a serious look at the Manta because I have been absolutely loving it. And the airflow, did we even talk about the airflow yet? The airflow is great. It's plentiful, it's smooth, it's swooshy. It's everything that I want in an RTA airflow. All right, well, I'm gonna wrap this up, but thank you so much for watching, everybody. It's the Manta RTA, coming highly recommended. I'm giving it a thumbs up. I'm not really handing out any banana stickers right now because I feel like banana stickers are reserved for, I don't know, like top tier, top of the line, um, you know, amazing products, in my opinion. But that's what I got everybody Manta RTA and like I said don't worry I'll have links to everything I talked about down in the description to this video thank you so much for watching everybody and as always yeah dude let's keep on vaping